Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of Fears to Fathoms. This one is Norwood Hitchhike. It's about Holly Gardner, a 19 year old, on an interstate drive, experiencing unusual happenings that lead to an unplanned stay at a motel. If you guys don't know about Fears to Fathoms, it's, it's about real life experiences put into a, a horror game. It's an awesome game. I'm enjoying it so much. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's to Bathams Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because, how, because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I'd get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take that long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a twelve hour drive. Oh my god. I thought I'd start off driving in this game. Holy. Driving in, at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Oh, I can't text and drive. I'm going to pull over. I um, definitely agree with that. Driving at night is therapeutic. Let's see what happened. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's just talk when I get home. Drive safe, Ollie. <laughs> don't forget to call me. I guess I got my way when I got home, huh? You got it, Dad. Then I sent Aiden's contact. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Ollie. What's up with Aiden? Discord. We got ticks. So, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Mile on the walk. LOL. Well. Alright. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you get in the car? Yup. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. I saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. They talk on Discord. Where are you? Almost there. Don't see you. Blah, 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 blah. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam. Okay. Back to driving home. Stop texting me, Aiden. I gotta go. I'll put on some tunes, actually. Can honk. Nice. Oh. oh my god, Dad. I'm driving. Stop texting me. I do love driving at night. Especially some nice trees. Oh my god, I'm running out of gas. You're halfway through the drive. I re realized I was low on gas. Huh. Need to find a gas station, I suppose. Places where there's not a lot of lights. Oh my god, so relaxing at night. Play music loud. Just drive. Let your mind drift and focus on driving. Oh my goodness. Feels good. Roll the windows down. Breathe in some fresh air. Oh, nice. Gas station. Crashed. <laughs> oh my goodness, this car is a boat. Alright, let me pull up closer to the pump. Can't see climbing. Alright, let's go get some gas. Am I stuck? Alright. Alright, we're out now. Got a good parking spot. Oh, I, I think I... 
There's a gas tank. Ah, whatever. I'll find that out, find that out later. Let's see what Dad texted me about anyways. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Yes, Dad, I'm feeling fine. Hello, sir. I need some gas. The bridge? At Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. People who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down from on the trees. Jeez. Monster, you don't say. All right then, I'll just be pumping my gas. What's up with you, sir? Have you heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley monster, do you know anything? Big mistake. What, that's, that's it? Big mistake? Okay. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Okay. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Whatever you say, weirdo. You just pump my gas and get the heck out of here. Mom. Holly, Mom, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. If you pick up something from Milo, I'll pay you back. As soon as I leave the store. Uh. Yeah, I'll be having that. Yeah, I'll be taking that, actually. I feel guilty. I need to pay for some. I'll take double the amount, though. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. I don't think he caught me. Alright. Let's get this dog food in the car. Ah, put it in the trunk. Perfect. Boom. Boom. In the trunk. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. I filled the tank and was off to the road again. All right then, off on the road again. <laughs> oh no! Somebody ran into me. I should check both ways, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta do all that again. All right, we're back at the gas station. I'm gonna grab some gas now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let me get some gas. I don't want to hear any more from you. All right, let me get my dog his food, and let's not crash this time. Get in the car, and I'm gonna look both ways before, before I take my turn. All right, being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Ain't that the truth? The scary truth. What? My headlights. Turned off. That's freaky. Oh my goodness. We are zooming now. Go down the hill. Oh, a bridge. Is this the bridge that guy was talking about? The girl with the robe? I'm not stopping. I ain't stopping for nobody, don't you worry. Huge bridge though. Oh. Driving at night is therapeutic for me. Definitely. Well, 
If my radio would work, it'd be better, you know? I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, yeah. Keep the headlights on. I don't like when you do that turn and offy thing. Keep the headlights on, please. Oh, no. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. It almost seemed that it's, if someone had deliberately put those there. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Hmm. Those were heavy. Whoa, I, I must be jacked. A 19-year-old girl. That's what I'm playing as. Okay, here's some in the woods. Had to move the logs. Move. All right. Is it there? No, no, no. Okay. Hopefully it's moved. Okay, okay, okay. No. Don't tell me. Come on, keep trying it, keep trying it. Uh, I don't give up that easy. Oh no. I don't know anything about, just like that, I was stranded in the middle of the night. Of, in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever that bull crap that gas station clerk pulled, but I'd be lying if I if I say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh, but at that moment I had no choice. Yeah, yeah, I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I would not want to be put into this circumstance. 10.23 p.m. Still waiting, huh? I saw a car nearing. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna slow down. Dang, buddy. Really, just like that. You're evil. Didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Yeah, tell me about it. In the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's kind of look like I'm setting somebody up now. 10.43, so 20 minutes. Ooh, yeah, I bet dotes. Imagine being out here in the middle of nowhere for 20 minutes. 20 more minutes after somebody just drove past. I, I feel like an eternity. Is this person gonna stop? Please, sir. Please stop. Oh, nice. Let's go see. He'll give us a jump or something. I don't really want to go for a ride with him. Oh, it's the guy from this gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright, alright. Nice guy, I hope. Maybe he's just a little wary of strangers. Oh, didn't mean to hop in. I just wanted to close my hood. Grab my stuff. I only have two ends. I make it work. You guys, let me know in the comments. Are you guys a one trip person? Go to help mom with the groceries or bring the groceries in? I, I'm, I'm a one trip guy. Make it work. Oh, finally. 
I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, now. So, how's your night going? Yeah? So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I live really close from here. I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, huh? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. I don't know. You know, you could never be too sure of people. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You've got any clue what happened to your car back there? What do you mean by that? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad. It's pretty old. Did you do something to my car back at that gas station, sir? Where are you taking me? So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. <laughs> Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's say I've never seen the monster for myself. But there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron. But just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Alright. Alright, sir. Where's the door handle of this car? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You're making me feel sort of bad now. Thomas, that is your real name. 12.08 AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Uh, thank you, sir. Let's see what's up with this place. Hello, sir, I need a room. Yeah, I'll need a room to shack up for the night. Um, yes. I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for a single. Pay cash only. Okay. Forty dollars for a night? Alright, I'll take it. Pension card. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Thank you, Tommy. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might... It might not take very nicely to it. Okay, weirdo. Key room number nine. Huh. One. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I should be right over here. Eight, nine. I mis miscounted. Oh, oh. My phone service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Yeah, I had to stay at a hotel. Motel. It was nice and warm inside. Well, where's my dang mattress? Where's my dang mattress, buddy. You know, if you stay in a hotel, you gotta check everything out before you leave. I mean, before you even sleep, you know? Where you go and get in there, the first thing I do is check in everything. <laughs> that dude scared the crap out of me. I'm Tommy, room service here at <laughs> Roadway Inn. The finest stop over in Norwood. What were you doing in there, you know, clean stuff? The guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I just have to ask you to sleep outside. To, oh, to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. 
god, that dude actually scared the freaking bejeebus out of me. I don't know if my uh, camera footage got messed up because of that. But it might have. <laughs> scared the actual crap out of me. I was not expecting that. I should have seen it coming. I'm playing a horror game, but that scared the shit out of me. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't seen been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Yeah, you too, weirdo. Get the heck out of my freaking place, dude. I'm going to bed. I want to just wake up. Wake up in the morning. Actually, you know what? Call it foresight, but there's something very off about that place. I mean, the person peeing in my toilet. What was that? The person. Who was that? Was the person staring through my front winch window? Who was that? Only coffee could help me stay up. Did not want to sleep anymore. Oh, there is a coffee machine. We'll take an espresso. An espresso, please. Consuming these items help you helps you stay awake. One espresso, please. I've never seen a coffee vending machine before. Controls are inverted. No, oh, my controls are inverted. Let me get home. What did my oh, I can't even read what my dad texted me. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, I need to lay down, man. That's not what coffee's supposed to do, huh? 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Whoa. Somebody just went in my closet. Oh, my phone wasn't working. I did feel safe going out. There's somebody in my closet. What do I need to do? it? Joe from the front desk opened the door. Joe? For the love of God, I think somebody's in my closet. Than a speeding bullet. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? 
mention the coffee machine. I, I drank some coffee from right over there. And uh, it, it drugged me. I was sedated. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It was right over there. Okay, okay. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you. Joe, from the front desk, if that really is your real name. Uh... I don't trust you, buddy. Why are you walking at me like that? It was right here. Stay away from me, Joe. What are you what are you planning on doing to me? Whoa. For some reason his demeanor completely changed. I saw somebody. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. I saw. I saw somebody. Do I listen to him? Medication. <gasps> he left. Requires water. Alright, he's not in there anymore. I'm not going in that bathroom. I'll take this medicine. This random... These random pills. I'll be taking them. With some sink water. Because I trust Joe. This random hotel manager. Sure. Alright. Now I'm going to bed, I suppose. just took a picture of me. He's whispering out there. Oh, that's not Joe. I don't want to answer that. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please. Please open the door. No way. I know you're in there. I have a gun in here. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away. I'm going to call a cop.
God. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager in inferred to not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go and to let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. I think that's a smart idea. That manager... And that manager came through at the end there. And that was a fun game. If you like these kinds of games, like these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe to follow along with this series. Like this video if you enjoyed. And I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.